there, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your Wake Up Call for Wednesday, February 23rd, 2011. Libya's wackadoo leader Gaddafi encouraged his supporters, if there are any left, to get out into the streets and attack his critics. Bahrain's king is being a little more reasonable, releasing dozens of political prisoners in response to tens of thousands of protesters there. At least 75 are dead in New Zealand and 300 still missing from the 6.3 quake that rocked Christchurch and toppled the city's landmark steeple. Two Somali pirates were killed and 13 caught in connection with killing the four Americans they took hostage on board their yacht, The Quest. Wisconsin Democrats returned to work and spent the night filibustering their latest attempt at discouraging the governor's plans to balance the state's billion-dollar deficit by negotiating new plans with unions. 1,500 state workers will get pink slipped next week if there is no deal in place. David Becker, the top lawyer for the SEC from 2000 to 2002 and back for a second tour in 2009, inherited $1.5 million from his mother's Ponzi scheme payout compliments of, you guessed it, Bernie Madoff. Chicago has a new mayor, and his name is Rahm Emanuel. He won with 55% of the vote despite five qualified contenders. He inherits a city with deep Depression-era financial trouble. Rumor has it Apple will introduce the next generation iPad next Wednesday and a billboard campaign for Hacienda Mexican food featuring the slogan, We're like a cult with better Kool-Aid next to a frozen strawberry margarita. Uh, did not fly well with folks in Indiana, reminiscent of the 1978 Jonestown ordeal. Too soon? Your San Diego forecast, mostly sunny. Highs in the 60s. That is your Wednesday morning wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.